I, I love my children, but if my children start wiling out and don't obey my commands, don't come home when I tell them to, there's going to be consequences. If my kids refuse to, you know, help around the house, there's going to be consequences. All the ki- I see kids are here, and they're like, I don't, even, I don't even like being at big church. I don't like being with the big people. Y'all talk about kids. Yeah, so listen, and, and, and we're God's children, so that's how, that's how God is. We love talking about God's love, but there's going to be a time that's called judgment day, right? We're all going to die one day and then be judged. Amen. So, so we need to be ready. And, and today, I, I wanna I wanna talk about that, but I also wanna talk about hope, because I believe that if we're gonna have a vision for victory, then we gotta focus on the hope part. We gotta have good ears to listen to the judgment part and not stray away from God. Right? We hear the warnings so that we can, we can uh, grab a hold of God and his word and his truth so that, you know, we can accept that warning so we, we have victory no matter what, what's happening. So, Jeremiah 29, 11, if you have it with me, uh, I want to read it for you. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans of, to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I love that. He wants to prosper me. He doesn't want to harm me. He doesn't want to harm you. He doesn't, he, 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 he wants, he plans, plans to give you hope and a future. Amen. So not just you, but your family, your children, your business, you know, wherever you are, plans for your future. The, the, the verse is a promise of God's hope to his people, assuring them of his incredible plan during this time of exile. I want you to understand that this particular passage wasn't written before that. Wasn't written when you know when when everything was going great. No, it was written after they were already in exile. It was written after they were in exile, and he was giving them hope after they were already conquered by Babylon, which lasted seventy years. And guess what? The the promise of God is still alive and kicking today. And and this is the promise that he has to those who are faithful. Those who are faithful. Amen? So I, I want you to have a year of integrity, a year of faithfulness, so that you can then grab a hold of God's promises. 